Get out there in, 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 in the front there, John. And who are you? You're not going to be able to hear me, though. <laughs> okay. Are you filming right now? I'm filming right now. Okay. So, uh, for my project, I wanted to do a, a brochure design. Um, I was trying to think of a way to um, relay this information. I took a, a family violence class last semester, and um, I thought this statistic was particularly um, startling. Um, about twice um, the occurrences of domestic violence um, are rated for Native American women. So, that's significant. Like, that's huge. So, part of what I wanted to do was figure out how can I convey this information as a form of support for these women, as well as uh, getting information out to the community itself. Um, so basically, I, I worked through this. I, uh, I worked with Kansas City Indian Center. Uh, I talked to Bob a little bit. Um, I wanted to try to make it as culturally confident as possible while getting uh, as much information as well. Um, there's not a lot of real estate on a brochure, so really getting the information done was really uh, probably the biggest challenge for me. Um, the categories I wanted to look at were um, diversity, because that was a huge part, really trying to define culture, because I didn't want to isolate um, anyone that might have a different view of their culture. And so um, culture was a huge part of it, as well as normalization and empowerment. Um, one of the things I found in the research was that um, women that follow through with domestic violence charges as opposed to um, the mandated no drop policy are more likely to not return to domestic violence relationships. So, um, yeah, I think that's pretty, pretty good. Yeah. Okay, thank you, John. Good.